Hello, I am Blake Whitmer. I am a sophomore in the 10th grade, last time I checked. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different than what everyone else here has done. I have, always been, I have always been driven by truth, found through logical reasoning, evidence, solid and, and solid philosophy. And instead of sharing my personal story, I will share my logical reasoning as to why I believe in Jesus Christ. Everything starts with morality. Despite seeming like a simple topic, it is remarkably hard to prove that good is good and as bad as bad. Humans default to a naturalistic worldview, accompanied by some morals. That is to say, nobody lives as if there is grand meaning to their actions, but neither does anybody live as if literally nothing mattered. A pure naturalistic worldview simply cannot be compatible with morality of any form. We have all been created by chance, therefore all of our actions must also be up to chance. One, must also, one might argue that we determine morality, or we have become God. I disagree. Natural processes have determined us, and nature is our God. If our God lacks sentience, one must argue that nothing matters. Naturalism needs, leads to nihilism, that is to say, absolutely nothing matters save skepticism. This is a point on which pure, CS, or on which pure nihilism and C.S. Lewis agree. Although nihilism is a paradox, the idea that nothing matters makes no sense. If nothing matters, then this statement doesn't matter. If this statement doesn't matter, how do we know whether or not it is true? On top of that, nothing matters means that truth is no better than untruth. Science is no better than superstitions. The most beautiful art is no more beautiful than the most despicable garbage. Murder is not wrong. Stealing is not wrong. Cheating is not wrong. Rape is not wrong. Nothing is wrong. You get the point. All of this proves to me that God, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, must exist. All we know about him is that he created the universe and set morality in place. If God exists to define morality and create the universe, then we must look to morality and creations to observe his nature. Morality's purpose has always been to promote effectiveness. When you place yourself first, you often hinder the lives of others at, while gaining yourself. When you place others first, you often gift others with additions to their lives while taking negatives yourself, hence resulting in a net gain overall. This is the premise that all of morality is centered upon. Hence, God's purpose must be to create, to spread progression, and to counteract corruption. Now, I'm jumping ahead of myself for time's sake, but the Bible says that we are all made in God's image. If this is the case, then the only logical conclusion I can make is that the reason God created the universe must be to, for the same reason that writers, composers, and painters write, compose, and paint. And we must now turn to find our meaning in this divine writer slash composer slash painter's plan. We so far have been proven to be the only planet capable of life, and we are the only species capable of sentience. Earth is the only spot in the entire universe with a story. Religion, a word associated with some quite negative connotations, unfortunately, is the study of that eternal author's story. Now let us analyze that story. Artists and authors want their works to be observed and enjoyed. Therefore, God wants his creation to be observed and enjoyed. If God wanted his work of art to be observed, he would need an observer. That is where we come into the story. But there's a problem. Without free will, we would be part of that art and not observers with the ability to enjoy that art. But with the benefit of hindsight, we can tell that something went wrong. Unless pain and suffering is God's ultimate plan, someone messed up and it probably wasn't God. Man rejected God's art. But in that moment of despair, when God's beautiful art had been corrupted, an amazing opportunity arrived. The problem had been set in motion. The rising action was starting. The plot was starting. There would one day be a man, a hero that would restore beauty, battle a great villain, and save the world. The art wasn't limited to grass and birds and nature and planets anymore. A beautiful story was created. If you look at the algorithm or the evidence, such as the size of world religions, Wikipedia's algorithms to determine the most influential people they have records of, our calendar, or the Bible, I'm compelled to believe that that person is Jesus Christ.